Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hidun here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. We are here today in the city of, I think this is Tustin, and we're at the Goodwill on Orange, I believe, is what it is. Uh, but if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, some new cool videos, and all that fun stuff, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian. Just like a spell here, and check out the shop. It's Hadrian.com to see whatever sales from with thrifting adventures. Also, the live sales are twice a week. Um, I have them all pre-scheduled already if you guys want to check them out. They're all like, if you hit the little video tab button thing on my YouTube channel page, uh, all of the scheduled lives should be there. And if you turn on notifications, you'll be notified when those do happen as well. Um, man, it is hot. My hair is like going crazy. But we're going to go inside today and see what we can find. I hope we can find some cool treasures. I haven't been to the store in a little bit, so hopefully you can find some awesome stuff. Last time I was here, I found some pretty good bags. Like, this store is a gem. And there's actually another store just like a few miles away. So it's great to come here and then you can hit up like a bunch of different stores and just like thrift store hop from spot to spot. And you can just spend the whole day thrifting. So it's pretty fun. All right, here's the store. Let's go inside and check it out. Oh no, they have an egg chair. It's only $300. It even has these white, oh. I feel like the old ones were like all tan. First find, this is the Rebecca Minkoff um, little crossbody bag. And it used to have tassels, like I know this bag. And someone cut them off. So, I don't know. Plus, it has like some color missing. It's, it's like $9, I think. I'm gonna leave it. It's like too damaged. And yeah. What do you guys think? Would you buy this? Let me know down below in the comments. Like, would you get this? I mean, you could definitely upcycle it and do something else with it. So, I'll leave it for someone else to do that. Okay. Uh, Echo. Pleather. Is a fossil? No. Oh, this Hell Kitty bag. It's cute. Oh, this bamboo. This one's pleather too, though. Oh, cats. Multi sack. That one's a Vince Camuto. Oh, we got a jumper. I was gonna grab the Vince Camuto, but the handle has cracking, and I don't want to deal with that. So no to the cracking. Ooh, glittery. This is a cute style, that's pleasant. Oh, the sports sack. Little crossbody. Oh. Oh no, this isn't a Rebecca Minkoff. This one looked like, this is like a cross between a Balenciaga and a Chloe, right? Let's see what we have on this side. This is a Loeffler Randall. Oh, the suede has like oil stains or something. Loeffler Randall's cute though, like that's a good brand. This would definitely be like a project bag, like you could dye this black or like a dark brown. It's only seven bucks, I'm gonna hold on to this, I might get this. Might be a good project bag for someone. Little Victoria's Secret, it just looks like a Givenchy. Found a Brixton hat. I think Brixton hats are pretty expensive. This one's only $7.99. The color is good, but it's a size small, it's a smaller hat. Okay, I found these on the floor. They're Lululemon. $7.99. Oh, they have a karaoke thing. <laughs> you know, I love karaoke. This vase is kind of cool. It has like this woven thing around it. Did someone make this? I think they did. Oh, that flower bear. Oh, that chair is kind of cute. There's another one right there. And yeah, there's two more. How much are these things? 30 bucks each? That's not bad. I think those are new too from Target. The rabbit. Oh, this water painting, the ocean. All right, let's see if there's any cool vases or anything. Did you guys spot anything fun? Oh, there's a bunch of seashells down there. Um, that's kind of cool. Okay, I'm looking through the mugs. I got lucky at the store before this one. I found a bunch of good mugs. I found two um, Le Creuset. And then I found, oh, that H. And I found an Anthropology mug. So I was like super excited. 
Do we see anything here? Hmm. Look at these iridescent champagne flutes. So pretty. I love iridescent things. These are a cute design. 99 cents. Ooh, little ice cream things. Yum. These like rose colored glasses are pretty fun as well. I like the color. Mm. Oh, nest. These are for candles, I think. Ooh, this is fun. Shiny, but this is heavy. How pretty is this? Queens by Churchill. Now it's supposed to have like a cup tire that goes with it. Oh, these are a wee plates by French Bull Gibson Overseas. Some leather trays. Where are these from? Uh, Two's Company. Ooh, that large hydro flask looks really nice, but it's pretty dented. Ooh, some Starbucks mugs. These are iridescent, but like, I don't think you're supposed to put these in the dishwasher. And these probably were run through the dishwasher, I think. Microwave. Oh no, they're dishwasher safe. Why are they so scratched? I wonder. Oh, that's so funny. One hot little number. That's cute. Ooh, this is cool. $7.99. All right, guys, we're at another store. This is the one in Santa Ana off of Grand. I love that they literally already have Halloween here. Okay, I kind of went through all the bags already. Unfortunately, I didn't really spot anything too exciting. So let's go check out the rest of the store. They had like a fossil, and, but yeah, nothing like really jumping out at me. Okay, I'm in the furniture section. This is like an interesting chair. It's like quilted on the back and it's like wood. Huh. Best daughter ever sketchbook. <laughs> Ooh, look at this mini mouse car. Oh my gosh, how fun. Let's check out these vases. Oh, this one's kind of cool. Ooh, this is from Crate and Barrel. This one's 10 bucks. That's not bad. I like the color combo. <laughs> That's kind of fun with the flower design. Lots of baskets. If you ever need a basket, you come to the Goodwill, thrift store, whatever. They always have baskets everywhere. Oh my gosh, a giant horse head. It's only 15 bucks. We got a hydro flask, $7.99. That one's a little dinged up. It's this one, but this one. It's also Hydro Blast. Also dinged up though. Also found this little one, $2.99. I'm probably gonna get this one though because Zach and Eliza always lose these. So I just need some backups. I'm looking to see some of the kitchenware and houseware stuff. Sorry, the music is like so loud. It's like intense. It's like blaring. Oh, what is this? This is kinda cute. It's a little teapot. I like the decor, I like the design on it. Oh, the top is broken though. Oh, look at this. this is like a little matching thing that goes with it. It's missing the top though. Okay, let's look at the mugs really quickly and see if we can find anything. Do you see anything? Anything Le Creuset? Oh my gosh. I actually found a Le Creuset something earlier too. I found two mugs. <gasps> this is a pretty color too. This is only 99 cents. Is that Le Creuset? Okay, it wasn't. It was like Nordic wear or something, but yeah. Okay. I like pretty much looked everywhere. Ooh, what's that? It was cute at first, but it's like damaged. You see like all these like cracks on it. Um, but yeah. But look at this. This is cute too. 99 cents or 2.99. <laughs> I don't know. But that's fun too. I like the blue and white. And cake stand. I had to come back to the mug section because I really just want to check everything. Because there might be like a cute anthropology mug or something that I'm missing. What's Elam home? Ooh, wait, hold on. This is already moving. Is someone over here? Anthropology and it's lemons. I'm crying. It's only 99 cents. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, I'm so happy. Look how cute this is. I wonder if we'll find anything else. Anthropology, since we did find that one piece. That's someone's face. It's actually like kind of cute. Um, oh, that's kind of pretty too. Uh, these are some Ray Dunn. Eat, yum. Okay, I kind of like a little bit over the Ray Dunn stuff and that's just like super cute. I already have like a pretty decent collection. I don't think I have any plates though, really. I have like a couple maybe. I really do like the Ray Dunn, um, like, what are they, Disney ones? Mud Pie, this is cute. Those are daisies. Oh. Nope, not like we say. Just kidding. Mm. What does that say? Hmm. Like a. Oh, I thought these were like the green. I thought they were pottery bar. I almost had a heart attack. I've been looking for those green ones. Oneida Golden State Olive Oil. Interesting. Sakura Christmas plates. Oh wait, these are yellow. What are these? Uh, Fiberware. Oh no. So I have some like random fruit. Oh, these are pretty. Hold on. These little butterflies. Are nice. William Sonoma flowering herbs. <gasps> oh, why do they have to be called flowering herbs? That's my weakness. Oh, there's a bunch. Hold on. Oh, these are half off. They're purple. Are these also? <gasps> ah! <laughs> Not me screaming in the store. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get these for mom. And myself, Avi. That's perfect because there's like four of each that can alternate, but then I'll have extra yellow one. Um, I wonder if there are any dinner plates anywhere because that would be awesome. Oh my gosh. I found Pottery Barn plates. These are older ones too. These are nice. They're like stoneware. I really like these colors. $1.99 each though. Mm, okay. I'm gonna wait, maybe those will go on sale. What do you guys think? Will they go on sale? I don't know. I'm trying to see if I can find some of those dinner plates though that go with those William Sonoma plates, but I don't think so. Gosh, how funny. These are like funny Santa plates. Santa Klutz, Jingle Bell Rock. Oh, uh, these are fun. Honest kid, I'm not Santa. <laughs> Oh, these look like Pottery Barn, too. These look like the Emma's. <gasps> they are. These are rare. They have, like, the green dots. I've never seen these. This one has a chip in it, though. Oh, this is crazy. Someone donated their vintage Pottery Barn. But it looks like there's only a couple of these plates. Hey, guys. Okay, so we just got back to the house, and I'm super-duper excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today when we went out thrifting. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to start randomly. We went to Goodwill, and we also went to crossroads as well so i guess i'll start with what i got at goodwill first and then we'll start and then we'll go into crossroads afterwards and first thing i have is this fontana sugar free vanilla and i don't know if this is what they use if anyone knows the brand of sugar-free vanilla that these at Starbucks, let me know. I don't know if this is the one, but I've always wanted to get, like, a sugar-free vanilla syrup. And they had this over at the Goodwill. It was, like, $3.99. And, yeah, it was brand new. I actually opened it <laughs> to test it out when I got home. And it tastes pretty good. So I'm pretty excited about it. And, yeah, so can't wait to try this out in my drinks. Um, I just, like, tried it in, um... Like, I just dumped some out and I tried it to taste it to see if it was, like, gross or whatever. But I guess, like, it, it's okay. Um, I was gonna make a coffee, but then I was like, it's kind of late already. It's, like, 10-something. So, yeah. So, I got that. Let me know what your favorite brand of sugar-free vanilla syrup is because I want to try it out. I've been using the uh, Skinny Syrup, I think is what it's called. And that's been really, really good. I just order it from Amazon. But I wanted to try to make the pink drink at home and I know for the pink drink they use like the sugar or the 
vanilla syrup, I think. And I, I have my own version that I order from Starbucks, and I use the sugar-free vanilla syrup. So I'm, like, one step closer to making that drink at home. And when I can make that drink at home, it's on. Because it is so delicious. I have gotten so many people onto that drink. Like, it's crazy. And if you guys have tried it after I've, like, told you guys about it, let me know. I, I like it so much. I don't know. I'm, like, I got my cousins hooked onto it, and my hair is, like, bugging me. That's, like, sticking at the top. Okay, sorry about that. All right, up next... Oh, this is so cool. I got this. Like, this is like a decorative glass. Uh, I was going to say it was an octopus, but it's a jellyfish. <laughs> jellyfish. And it's so cool. I know Elizo's going to love this. He loves cool things like this. And I got this for, like, his desk. And he could just put it on there. He collects, like, crystals and rocks and stuff. And I thought this would be pretty fun. We have pretty similar interests to the, for these kinds of things. Like, when I was little, I would have loved having one of this. I had a collection of, like, petrified stones when we went to go visit Yosemite when I was younger. And when we went to the souvenir shop, I had my parents, like, <laughs> buy me. I was like, can you please buy me these? Like, I want these for my birthday, for Christmas, like, whatever. And they were kind enough to get me some pieces from there. And I love them. I still have them to this day. I actually have them in the library, like, decoratively. And I have, like, this really cool uh, petrified stone. And then it has, like, a dinosaur on it. I was also really into dinosaurs. And then I had this other one. It had a uh, petrified stone. And they were, like, set in... I don't know if it was, like, glass or something and then it had like running horses over it and those are really cool I was also really into horses like horses dinosaurs minerals <laughs> all that kind of stuff so I thought this would be really cool this was $2.99 yeah it didn't have a price they gave it to me for $2.99 so I was pretty excited about that then I got this for $5.99 these are just Starbucks lids and I didn't even know that you can buy just like the Starbucks lids at Starbucks. So this is exciting because sometimes I'll find like really cool tumblers and then they don't have lids. So now I have like three extra lids that I can use or I can put these on some of my cups that I already have and just like switch them out and it'll be fun. So I'm pretty excited about these guys. Uh, I actually don't know how much. Oh, they're okay. I guess I like paid almost retail for them because this was five dollars and 99 cents and i guess the retail was like 6.95 i didn't even see that on there but it's fine it's cool i guess whatever i didn't save as much as i thought i did but it's fine they're still new uh up next i got oh i got this elizo and zach are always leaving these at school or they're losing them. Usually, like, every time they've lost them at school, though, they've turned up in the lost and found. But just in case, and also for those days that they forget them, then that way they can still have, like, another thing to bring. So I kind of collect these. And every time, like, family members, like, visit and they have, like, kids or something, um, sometimes I'll give them one of these little cups if I have extras. So I like these. They're great, fantastic. Hydro flasks, awesome. Um... Usually I'll buy like a new lid though because I feel like it's kind of gross or like I'll just try to like sanitize them as good as possible and just like if the top part like this one is okay still like it's not like if they're like 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 someone's been biting it I'm just like ew like that's gross but I feel like that's normal so it's okay. Um, I'll just usually like put it in a solution of like water and like vinegar or like a little amount of um, like bleach like a Clorox bleach or something and then like rinse it really well then I'll run it through the dishwasher the only thing is I do switch out with the little straw pieces inside and you can get those like on Amazon I have like I've ordered a bunch of them so I just have extra and um yeah plus like the the straws come like pretty long and I think like if you uh, if you like cut them in half is usually what I do and then you can use like one straw for like two of the smaller cups so it's perfect anyway two nice <laughs> that was like a long explanation <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry Okay, then, okay, this was exciting because in three of the, how many Goodwills did I go to today? One, two, I think I went to like four, four or five Goodwills? Four. One, two, I think I went to four. Okay, in three of the four Goodwills that I went to today, I found Le Creuset, which is crazy. I cannot believe it. And I found like this little pitcher. And I love the color. It's this really pretty green. This was only 99 cents. Like, are you serious? 99 cents for this? Ugh. Le Creuset. Like, that's 
it's nuts. It just needs a little bit of a cleaning. I mean, it's a little dirty, but this is so cute. Like, I would probably just use it for, like, flowers or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's, or, like, you could put, like, milk in here, you know, like, creamer or whatever if you're, like, have a bunch of people over for coffee or whatever. This is probably how much creamer that we use as a family, though, like, every morning because everyone puts creamer. And then um, some of us may use a lot more creamer than others. John, if you're watching, I'm talking to you. But also me, because I love creamer. It's so good. 99 cents, though. Awesome. Okay, so there's that. Uh, also, don't forget to check out the rest of the videos throughout the rest of the week, because I found so much good stuff today. And I broke... I always break up the videos that I film each day into, like, separate videos. So you'll see those videos throughout the rest of the week. I do post videos every single day at 7 a.m. Okay, up next... I got... Oh, I got this. Um, I'm gonna give this to John, my brother. This is a Dragon Ball Z manga, and yeah, this is brand new. It's from Target. This was four dollars and ninety nine cents, and he like collects these. I actually think he has like the whole set of like the older Dragon Ball Z mangas. So um, hopefully he doesn't have this one. Otherwise, like all my cousins literally all collect these as well. So I know these will go to someone, or it'll go to someone if not my brother. Four ninety nine. All right. Oh, all well. It wasn't from. Was it from this store? No. Okay. Never mind. Then up next, I got. Um, wait. Hold on. Okay. Also, I think of three out of the four stores. I think I, f I found anthropology. So I'm really excited. And this one is so cute. This is the Anthropology mug. Can you believe this was also 99 cents only? Like, I'm dying. And it's my favorite color, yellow. And it's one of my favorite fruits, lemons. Oh my gosh. And I think, is Clementines the name for it? In, no. Clementines is just like an orange, like a tangerine, right? I don't know. Never mind. But pretty excited about it. I love the color, 99 cents. And I think underneath the sticker, it says... Power Up, I think, but this is from Anthropology. So excited, 99 cents, what a deal. I feel like, like, I don't know how this was only 99 cents, to be honest. They normally put Anthropology stuff for like $2.99 or more, but whoever did like the Lake Crusade and the Cup, like they were in a good mood or something. Then I think um, I have two more things, yeah. Okay, two more things that I got at the Goodwill. And I have right here, this is a little Longchamp, like, pouch. I got this one for $4.99. It's so cute. It's just, like, a black, uh, this is the nylon-y kind of, like, fabric. And it almost feels like a neoprene, but it's, like, a nylon. Um, and it's, like, the thick one. It's not, like, the regular fabric that uh, Longchamp uses. So I thought that was really cool. And then it just zips right here. Like, I thought this would be cool for, like, um, sunglasses or just, like, electronic cords or, like, whatever, you know. So, $4.99 for this guy. And it has a little leather handle right here, which is super duper cute. And the zip works really well. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell this one because I feel like I kind of want to use it or like keep it in like my little pouch collection. So there's that. And then, okay, this one, I, I'm definitely going to keep this one, I think. And this is a cute little Anya Henmark pouch. It's a little coin pouch, I think. It's so fun. The only thing is it kind of looks like the little leather piece right here is like stretching out where the little chain connects so i probably won't be putting change and keys in here um i might try to uh reinforce this maybe and put like a piece of interfacing inside of it and then like glue it into the interior so that way like the leather will get strong like it'll be stronger so it has like less of a chance of ripping so I might try and do that, but either way, like I probably would just use this for change anyway and just like keep it inside the car. It's so cute, it's a little change purse, it has this little tassel on there, and it's like a no U-turn sign, right? And this guy was, how much? $3.99. Can you believe that? That's so cool. 
This thing is so stinking cute. I'm so I love Anya Hinmark stuff too. So I was really excited to have found this, and I would, never would have known either because I know um, this is the Han Anya Hinmark like little logo thing right there because it doesn't really like, say Anya Hinmark really anywhere else on here. I think I don't think it says it anywhere. Does it say underneath the sticker? Nope. Yeah, there's like literally no way of knowing that this was Anya Hinmark. There's no tag or anything, but I, I did actually like look it up. So it is like an actual you know, Anya Hinmark thing. Plus it does have the little, um, her little logo right there, but it's so stinking cute. Yeah, does it even say it like on the ring or anything, but pretty excited. Okay, so I got that. And then those were the two things that I got, the last two things that I got. Now on to the items that I got from Crossroads. Uh, first item here, this is a Kate Spade, like little key wallet. This guy was $24. Oh, I didn't notice that it was dirty on the back. Eh, I'm pretty sure I could clean this off. It has like some dirt. This is in a light pink Safiano and then a gold hardware. I especially like the little jewels right there on the ribbon card slots another pocket right there and then it has a zipper i love that there's a little key thing so you can attach this to your keys and the inside of this is in pretty good shape i think it just needs a little bit of a cleaning right there like the fabric just needs a little bit of cleaning but otherwise it's actually in pretty good shape inside of there there's nothing no significant wear and just needs a cleaning right there and yeah the stamping is all good with the kate spade so cute. I love the jewels though. Anything sparkly, you know I me, mean? I'm like a magpie. I'm like, ooh, shiny, shimmery. Gotta get it. Then up next, I got uh, this great Kate Spade wristlet wallet. So fun in this black pebbled leather, light gold hardware. The wristlet is removable, which is nice. And then you can just remove that if you want to just use that as a wallet. There's a card, uh, or card pocket in the back. The change part is right here in the top flap. Super clean inside of there. And then here's the interior. I checked, my phone does fit in here with like the case and everything. Here's my phone. So it does fit with the case and everything and then it closes up and snaps still as well. So that is fantastic. I love that it fits with my giant case too and my pop socket, card slots, pocket. Well, you can put your phone in there if you want. And then another pocket in the front. And this guy was 20 four dollars pretty good price for this i feel like this is brand new it doesn't it's like the pockets aren't stretched out at all there's like literally no like stains or wear or anything on here the leather is beautiful and the hardware is in really good shape as well so kate spade lots of kate spade right then up next uh this one's a michael kors the color on this is what got me. Look at this beautiful golden yellow, like mustard color. This is also in a Safiano leather, gold hardware. Um, the hardware is in good shape. The leather is in good shape. There's a, there are two pockets in the back. This was only $12, you guys, it was half off. So I was really excited about that. And then the interior looks like this. So you can put change in here, there's card slots, and then there's a little middle slot right there as well. The interior is super clean. Yeah, this wallet is in really good shape. And the mustard color. I mean, come on. You can't go wrong with this color. It's beautiful. I love it. My hat and the wallet, like mustard and ketchup. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I think, okay, I have one last item. And, oh goodness, this one's cute. This is a Claire Vivier belt bag in this snake skin. Uh, this is actually like an embossed printed snake. Or maybe it's like a python, right? I think it's a python. Um, so it's, it's printed leather, which is great. I love these leather like ribbon things for the zipper pulls. One is orange and then one is black. I love the combo. I think it's so chic. And I, I love that the yellow, like the fabric of the zipper is yellow. Mm, all the colors just are so good. And then it opens up just the Claire Vivier iconic uh like chambray lining and then it's claire vivi los angeles on there i love that her bags are all made in usa too and i believe they're all made in la still so i think that's really really cool i feel like there's not a lot of those brands that um 
still make all their stuff all in LA. And the belt bag, or the belt part is in leather, which is fantastic. Let me see how this looks. Oh, this looks good, like, as a crossbody. That's nice. I've been really into, like, belt bags recently. I just got, I just picked up a couple for myself. You would have seen those in previous videos. I have um, a really great All Saints one and a really great Rag and Bone one right now, too. So, and I don't know if I'm going to add this one to the lineup or the collection. It's kind of cool. I don't have anything snakeskin printed. And I kind of like the look. I feel like this whole thing is a look. Do I look crazy? Also, the belt is um, pretty large. Let me see. Like, I'm pretty sure this will fit my waist. And I have a 34-inch waist. Oh, yeah. I think this will fit up to, like, a 38-inch waist. Because um, I can wear it, like, all the way down to here. So, 34, 36, 37, 38. Or 34, 34 to 36. So maybe 30, maybe it's only 37. No, I'm pretty sure it's like a 38. Because I was sitting down. It was probably like an awkward angle. But it's a great belt bag. And I love it. It was just, um, it was 47.50. So it was a little bit more pricey. And yeah, oh, that was the last thing. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys had fun checking out the store with me and seeing what I got. Let me know down below in the comments if you have found anything cool recently because I always love hearing about your finds as well. Tune in tomorrow at 7 a.m. for a new video. Don't forget to check out the live sales as well. They, they are all um, scheduled for the rest of the month. Go hit that uh, video button up at the top and all of the scheduled live sales should pop up there you can always watch the replays as well and shop from them so if you would like to um, watch those i have a playlist that you can check out with all of the live sale videos that are still up check the description boxes of those videos and you'll um you'll have a list of the items availability and their pricing i also have a couple fire sales coming up as well where i'm going to be kind of getting rid of older inventory to make space for new items for the end of the year so i'm really really excited so tune in most of those sales um, are going to be more of like a pop-up type of sale. So um, you'll probably only have a 24 to 48 hours notice for when those sales happen. So just make sure to turn on those notifications and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Alright, bye guys!